the Biden administration is imposing new reporting requirements on all U.S. Bitcoin miners. They're going to have to disclose data related to how much electricity they consume. The report states miners must submit monthly data and may incur criminal fines, civil penalties, and other sanctions by failing to do so. Here we go, am I right? <laughs> Well, what if I told you within this report is a majorly bullish outlook for Bitcoin's price and its future in the US? And boy, do we have plenty of reasons why they and you should be stupidly bullish right now. We get a lot to cover. Let's get it. Party, party, that All right, let's go ahead and start here. Biden administration launching the emergency survey of Bitcoin miners' electricity usage. But check this out. So we've got this little section. We will specifically focus on how the energy demand of mining is evolving, identify geographic areas of high growth. So they're looking for areas of growth potential and quantify the sources of electricity used to meet mining demand. And this is how what read from the statement. And then in this article, we can see the administration is trying to bag and tag miners. U.S. miners must disclose the number of ASIC miners, the models, the ages of those machines, etc. Now, this seems like a major attack, but as we read that last portion, is the U.S. government looking to mark territory itself to mine Bitcoin? Is it already mining Bitcoin? And we have something else in this report that is majorly bullish. The great Pierre Richard absolutely nails it. Biden has declared a federal emergency because Bitcoin is winning. Okay, don't believe me? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the fine print, shall we? As evidence, the price of Bitcoin has increased roughly 50% in the last three months and higher prices incentivize more mining activity, which in turn increases electricity consumption. At the time of this writing, much of the U.S. is in the grip of a major cold snap that has resulted in high electricity demand. The combined effects of increased mining and stressed electricity systems create heightened uncertainty in the electric power markets. But from this report, we can see that they expect prices to go up, and that is why they're worried about mining maybe getting a little out of hand, but also they're looking at facilities and maybe locations where they could benefit from mining as well. And if they're looking to really hit Bitcoin with this energy report, they are totally screwed because, and this is another reason this report is so bullish, because in studying, they will discover the numbers and why Bitcoin is just, the incentives are too strong to deny. Why Bitcoin is benefiting the environment, mitigating methane, making renewables actually profitable. But check this out, a report by the U.S. Energy Information Administration reveals Bitcoin mining use uses only 0.6 to 2.3 percent of U.S. electricity and 0.2 to 0.9 percent globally. We've said it before and we'll say it again. The energy FUD is dead. Turn off your toasters or... But hey, how from straight out attacking saying Bitcoin is boiling the oceans to having a really bullish outlook for Bitcoin's future? I mean, what type of things could make the U.S. government believe Bitcoin and its price are going to be going up? Well, there's tons of things Let's start here. Why they're bullish? Well, BlackRock, Fidelity, ARK Invest, and El Salvador are literally buying Bitcoin every day. Are you? Because if not, there's not a lot of Bitcoin left. Larry Fink knows what's going on. He said it's going to transcend all international currencies. And again, not much Bitcoin left. And in what? Two weeks, BlackRock and Fidelity have collectively amassed over $5 billion worth of Bitcoin. They're just getting started. At the time of recording today, BlackRock only needed to acquire 50 more Bitcoin to hold $3 billion worth and a total of 70,000 Bitcoin. And just like two weeks, guys, the DCA army just uh, got a full dose of bath salts from Larry Fink, basically. And another thing, why is Joe so bullish on Bitcoin? Probably because the national debt, just the interest to pay the national debt, that spending now outstrips the entire defense budget and is on track to eclipse social security soon. Maybe they're figuring out that the goose is cooked and they better start stacking sats and mining corn with a sense of urgency. That is why they declared it an emergency and why it is bullish. The outworld and the central planners are not looking good. This is another could be bullish catalyst for Bitcoin. NYCB trading halted after nose diving 42%. Now that was a big deal as they are also a top regional bank with 436 branches. And 
happened? As we told you before, if you go back to 1930, that's when the bank started to collapse. It wasn't until 1933 that the bank holiday came into effect, kind of mirroring some of that today. And also just flat out the main reason they're probably bullish and realizing they can't change anyone's mind. They can only try to slow people down, but billionaire Tim Draper nails it. The US government finally understands that Bitcoin is actually, well, better for everyone. And very soon there will be a moment when we're all gonna buy food, clothing, shelter with Bitcoin and people just won't want cuck bucks anymore. I miscalculated on how aggressive the U how you know scared the gov the US government was running. And now they realize that Bitcoin's actually better for everyone. It keeps perfect records. It um, you know the, the people who they all thought were criminals using Bitcoin turns out they were all caught. So using dollars is probably better for um, for a criminal. <laughs> um, and uh, so and I think that there's going to be a moment where there's a run on the banks the way after the Civil War there was a run on. Uh, Confederate money, and there was a run on the Greek drachma and a run on the French franc when they became a part of the euro. So I, I actually think that there will be a moment in time when I can buy my food, clothing, and shelter all in Bitcoin, and uh, and people won't want dollars anymore. While we know about the nation states, the major funds, the Black Rocks, the Valkyries, these things, what about Tether here? Their Q4 revealed a whopping 2.8 billion in Bitcoin holdings, so they are stacking majorly as well and working on some mining activity. Again, it's not that much Bitcoin left. And building off that, Tether will buy Bitcoin with 15% of its profits each quarter. So approximately every three months, based on their recent numbers, that's about $400 million of Bitcoin just Tether will buy every three months. Now go ahead and add in Michael Saylor's spot Bitcoin ETFs, Tether having supply shock, and not to mention what if Qatar is Saudi Arabia, use Saudi Aramco, they start mining or putting some of their sovereign wealth fund into Bitcoin. That is a big deal. But again, better hurry because there's not much Bitcoin left on exchanges. Which, ladies and gentlemen, if you do not want to get caught in the government 6102 of Bitcoin, which is likely a when, not an if in the future, you don't want ETFs. You want to self-custody your Bitcoin. That is the revolution. If you need help getting coins off exchanges, following best practices, or going next level with your setup, we got just the guys to get you covered. Simply Bitcoin Originals are powered by the Bitcoin Way, and as your dedicated Bitcoin IT team, the Bitcoin Way is here to guide you from start to finish on your journey to properly self-custody your Bitcoin. If you need help with wallets and nodes, inheritance planning, accepting Bitcoin payments, hey, the Bitcoin way has got you covered. Looking to get started, you can book a free 30-minute call using that link below. Guys, the having is just around the corner. Say it before and I'll say it again. Supply shock plus demand shock equals a price shock. And it appears even Joe Biden and the administration are expecting that as well. Not to mention the economy's in a lot of trouble and they're probably gonna have to restart quantitative easing. What's quantitative easing you say? Oh, well that's easy. Here you go. Thank you very much for your time tonight. It's my great pleasure to be with you. Good now, evening. Now, you're an economist working in the banking sector, yeah? I am. Should I get a lawyer? I think I'm entitled to legal representation if we're no, going to no, discuss no, my no, work. No, no, no. This is just a few simple questions. Don't simple worry. questions? Yeah. How simple? Well, they're theoretical. Theoretical. Questions. I can yeah. deal. Yeah, okay, we can deal with that. Yeah. I mean, don't hold me to the answers, but. Why not? Well, because I'm an economist and I can think of a different set of circumstances under which my responses might vary somewhat. Yeah, and everything's connected to everything else, isn't In it? In economics, I'm afraid that is the global fear right at the moment. Yeah. Now, right, there's a, a lot of uncertainty in world economics, isn't there? There is a great deal of uncertainty and a lack of confidence. Yeah, yes. and there's a lot of talk of quantitative easing. What, quantitative that's a term easing, we yes. hear all the time. That's a term you hear a lot at the moment, yes. Yeah, what exactly is quantitative easing? Well, I can answer this because actually we're advising um, a couple of governments about this right at the moment. And what are you saying to them? What well, is I should just take you through what we're telling them to do. Yeah, sure. I mean, I right. won't go into a lot of detail. No, that's be good. Discreet, but this will mm. give you an idea of how quantitative easing you works. Yep. Take printer out of box and mm -hmm. place on table with the out tray facing the window. The out tray facing the window. That's right. Load paper into the paper receptacle and place currency on glass tray F. Right. Check alignment by printing out a test page. Right. Go into copy settings and select double sided and the number of copies you require. How many would you suggest? In the case of one of our clients, it's 80 billion. 
120 billion in the case of another client and one client wants a trillion of these things. Can you get printers to do that? No, you can't. You're going to need a bank of them. I mean, it's a multi-printed job. You need big job. ones, Yeah, you? big industrial strengths. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Big like a Bofors gun, all facing yeah. the window. Yeah. 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 Uh, once you've ascertained um, that uh, you have the alignment correct, yeah. uh, you alert the banking sector, open the window and press copy. And stand well back. Yes, you've got to stand well back because they can create a bit of a vacuum while reaching cruising height. Whereabouts? In the super fund industry very often. And you'd have to consider the wind direction too, oh, wouldn't you? Oh, yeah, you don't yeah. want to be doing this upwind. No, because you'd be covered in pretend money, couldn't you? You'd covered in what? Pretend money. No, this is not pretend money. This is real currency we're creating. But aren't you here. just printing it off? I mean, these are photocopies, aren't they? Excuse me. Dave, this is not going to work. Because well, I've just explained it to a bloke and he saw through it straight away. Are you in banking? No. No, he's not even in the banking racket. Mm. OK, I'll try that. Try what? Have you ever heard of Rumpelstiltskin? No. Good. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, the money printer is set to go burr. So as the state and fiat system continue to slowly bleed itself to death, Bitcoin continues to rise. It, it is just undeniable at this point. Hop on board. Don't get left behind because there are a lot of bullish developments going on. If you missed these, be sure to check them out. Like, subscribe, share that sound money gospel. Follow us on Twitter where we're getting all the latest breaking news. Set those notifications and simply Bitcoin will be your guide through the peaceful Bitcoin revolution. I'll catch you all next time. Peace. If you prefer to go down with the ship, fuck you.